Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the YouTube account and the Awakened version of Athelia is up. Now I'm going to grab the um, trial version. You can see the 10th anniversary events are up as well, but I'm going to pick up the trial version. That way we can utilize her within the Cursed Realm. Now, normally I would save her till Friday, but um, the Celestial Sanctum is up. We're going to farm it a little bit and, and not in this video, but I want to um, go ahead and pick up the trial version again so we can use her. Now, in addition, guys, game changing day. We have finally gotten to the point within the Beast Grounds that is right. We have a level 13, a 12, a 12, a 12, a 12, and a level 11 Savage Souffle. That needs two additional copies. That is right. Savage Souffle needs two copies. There it is, guys. That is the last two copies we need of the Savage Souffle. Um, so we can actually take this up to the next level, which is, of course, going to be absolutely game-changing for the Savage Souffle. And because of the Beast Resonance, that is right, guys. Boom! There is the Beast Resonance for um, some of you who have not seen it. All of those pets, all, what, six of those pets are going from level 9 up to level 12. Now we're going to be focusing on getting those beasts up to level 15. But now we can quick upgrade all of these guys going to level 12, which is phenomenal. Unfortunately, no more new skills here. But level 12 is really a pivotal level for a lot of these beasts. And a lot of these beasts um, really doing incredibly well, which I'm not sure why I can't upgrade that one. Oh, because I upgraded it funny. I didn't even realize that I um, upgraded a little bit different. We got three, we got three, we got four. Should have enough of these. There we go. So four, four, and four. I think because it's not even, it um, didn't lift them up all the way. But 13, we have 12 across the board, just like that. All right, guys, there it is. The beast resonance is up, which of course means it's going to give us a bunch of food out of the advanced ship as well. So Seal gives us 100 food out of that one. Savage Souffle gives us 100 food or 100 baits. Very cool, guys. Now, in addition with the Beast Resonance is when we get any of the new beasts, um, we're actually going to have the ability to take them right up to 12, which is awesome. That is absolutely awesome to see over here in the Hellscape. Now, before we went in here, we tried to look at our um, recommended formations. Of course, there were zero in there because we did not have that awakened version of Athelia. Now, I am going to be building her out, but I want to see what formations we do have in here that we can utilize. And there we go, guys. So we have all five formations. I'm going to drop them in. And that's right. It drops it in with our level 12 pets right up here, which is phenomenal, guys. I, I'm loving that all of these went to 12. It is very, very cool to see. Now, looking through the formations in here, these are the best in slot, really the best in game formations. I know there's a couple in here um, that I don't really have some of the best heroes for, but I'm hoping with the auto battle we can go through. So Baden Estrella is going to buff. We have Mortis that is going to buff. We have Rosline and we do have Scrag, which are going to buff with the combination of the Owl. Looking at our second formation, we have Anasta, we have Brutus, and there is the Awakened version of Athelia, guys. This is the formation that she runs in. We have Anasta and Antandra, and then we have Oden. So in this formation, Oden is actually doing the most damage because of the SP effect that Athelia has. Big reason for this, guys. Um, every five Sacred Blades, Athelia permanently increases damage dealt by 10% physical pierce by six points, respectively. So the damage increase that we're going to see here out of Oden as he scales is very very broken guys that he is doing an incredible amount of damage in here um team number three we get into the awakened version of solace um in here it is really vithiel that is pushing the damage and driving this one and the, here it is a <coughs> it is eins so it, it's crazy enough to see with the buffs the damage amplification that we're going to pick up with rain the buffs that are going to be provided there from palmer then, of course, we're going to have the um, the tail end or the aura from Arthur, which if you're not familiar with, he will buff up Eins as well. And then we do have the moth, which is going to go right on to Eins as well. Fifth team in here, we do have Matria. Now, because we're not running the Celestials or the Dimensionals, all, five, or all other four of these are regarded as um, Hypogen heroes, so she actually provides the buff. Tamerson here for the buff. We have buffs out of here. 
Now, Nemitsu is a pretty interesting one, guys. Nemitsu buffs not only the totems that go down, but he buffs haste. And that's the big thing, guys, is the haste will actually go right up here onto Raku in this formation because I haven't built out significantly, um, amplifying the damage that he is going to be doing. And then the final one, kind of old school, guys. We have Edwin in here, and we do have Lucretia in here with Izold. Now, Izold, of course, is going to scale as he's taking damage. Big thing in here, guys, Tassie with her teleportability is going to mitigate some of the attack rating that we're going to see from, um, from the Grotesque Mage. So I want to run through this one time, guys. And again, it, it's interesting to see that Athelia is already being utilized within a lot of comps. We, we kind of figured that was coming with the buffs, with everything else going on, that Athelia would be utilized because of the damage she's putting out. And if you look here, guys, it's literally just locking bulks right in the back. And the damage in here, guys, we're at 5.6 billion damage already. With this formation, we're going to break, almost broke 6 billion in there. Number two, of course, putting it together, there is Athelia, guys. Um, Anasa provides some buffs in here. Athelia also provides, again, that big SP effect in here, allowing Oden to just absolutely crush damage. Now, remember, the longer that Oden is up, the more damage he does. And then, of course, we do have the seal. Um, the, the pet, the seal, it is doing damage like no other, guys. It's kind of incredible to see how much damage the seal is putting out. This one, of course, we're going to lock down Iran in the back. Or, um, yeah, Iran, not Oren. As you can see, guys, just stacked in the back. We have minions coming up. We have Solus with her SP buff in this one. Then Vithio putting up a lot of damage in this formation, guys. Look at the numbers just climb. 5 billion plus at this point. The healing is going on crazy back here seven it's going on eight there's eight billion damage then of course guys the enraged timer eventually takes us over now this one there is arthur's aura you can see the blue aura right here in the back buffs provided from um buffs provided from arthur from rain um albedo of course with the dimensional heroes and then palmer as well guys look at the damage again just crazy how fast this damage scales guys it's incredible, incredible to see. Almost 8 billion in that formation. And I'm even thinking like where the Curse Realm used to be, um, like once upon a time, even there, the, the Savage Souffle is crowd controlling um, Arthur back here, which is kind of crazy. And you can also see, guys, we have totems popping up everywhere from Nemitsu. Haste is going up on Raku, working as intended within here, guys. Then, of course, we also do pull all of those um, buffs that we're getting out of the Hypogen for 5 billion damage. Then the Lucretia comp. There we go. The um, lizard keeping us, the, the rock lizard keeping us alive and just maximizing the damage. You can see, guys, as soon as an ad comes up, as soon as another version of the, um, another version well, that wasn't good at all in that one, but that's okay, guys. 32, which takes us to 16%. That's where we usually land, right around there. So what I do is I'll actually go in here. This game mode has a lot of RNG. I'm going to see we have nine here, so I'm going to take this to 19. Alfred has said we should do at least. So I'm going to do 19. Um, then when we actually get the guide from Curse Friends, which, of course, is going to be an incredible amount of updates in here. Um trying to get a little bit score a better score in this could swap out one or two heroes could see a little bit of a better score with that but overall guys when we get the guide i'm going to do probably another 10 attempts um to score higher in here the higher you can really score within these game modes the rewards are just literally tenfold um when you get the rewards out of here when it comes to getting more time emblems more engraving mats um, more stargazer cards Thing of that nature even looking at 16 percent we're pretty see we got some stargazer scrolls but we want to get to the point of getting those time emblems which of course is in the top i believe 16. just need a good rng really push in here every now and then you'll you'll get one where you'll go from 16 down to 12 down to 10 um whatever it may be 
And by doing the multiple attempts in here, you're really mitigating the RNG factor is, is really the big one. First attempt might have been the best, and we've actually seen that happen before where we didn't score any better through multiple attempts, but it is still holding steady, guys, at that 16%. So I'm hoping, come on, I, I want it to change. You know, 33, one, two. Which this is how we run it, guys. We get our best teams in here. We set everything up. Um, and then we just let it go. So 10 attempts right there. Still, I don't think we beat that best attempt. We have what, nine more attempts? And then again, when, when the guide comes out, we'll do another 10 in there. I might only go to, let's go to 14 here. We'll go to 14 and we'll see. Um, Because fundamentally, there there might be a couple. And I think it's that last battle that I'm going to have to switch out or um, actually switch up. New record, 33 right there. But I feel like it is going to be 31. There's a 32. There's a 33. See, the second one was the best five c doing not that much damage with this team guys six right there seven right there only three in this one then again 2.5 about 2.5 right there so still got a couple days guys it's really early with the grotesque mage um but i definitely wanted to get that beast residence up to 12 that is awesome finally got it to that point guys now it's driving it up to 15 then to 18 then it is so on and so forth so that'll do it for today's video let me know in the comments what you guys think and as always thank you guys for watching